It's me, Mikey Pipes. It is Sunday morning, December 18th, 2022. It is 7.58 in the morning. You, you may be asking, Mikey Pipes, why are you smiling? God has blessed me with another day. Thank God. Tonight marks the first night of Hanukkah. To all those viewers and subscribers out there who celebrate, Hag Sameach, happy holidays. Next Sunday is Christmas. I know a lot of you out there celebrate the Christmas holiday. And I wish nothing but peace and happiness to you and your family. And most importantly, some snow. Because I know Peter's really dying for some snow. Anyway. All before 8 o'clock in the morning, we're heading into Queens. A neighborhood I don't normally go into, Kew Gardens, which is part of Flushing. Primarily a uh, Jewish Orthodox uh, neighborhood, but I got a recommendation, a referral from a, uh, a contractor that, uh, you know, we, we hang out. I don't really work for contractors, but uh, if he recommended me to this gentleman to resolve his Whale McLean Ultra condensing boiler issue well then I'm going out there and if I'm getting paid might as well might as well if, I'm, if he's going to pay someone might as well be me alright I'm just go head over to the truck park the Porsche and head over to Queens stick around smash that thumbs up button remember I have a a realistic goal of 100,000 subscribers by May 1st 2023 hopefully you consider um, subscribing there's no course or obligation all right, guys, let's kick it off. Bingo. It don't matter what time of day or time of night it is. There's always traffic on the Van Wick. And for as long as I remember, it's always been on construction. And I'm 45 years old. <laughs> and it is 8.23 on a Sunday morning. And there's still traffic. We are moving. We're doing 30 miles an hour, which is a speed limit in New York City. <laughs> uh, oh, thank God we're moving a little bit. All right. Just a little bit of clips of my journey to Kew Garden Hills from the five towns. Hope you enjoyed. Let's go get that paper. Why, what's yeah. going on with the carbon dioxide? Go, I'm gonna put a TV for you. Go watch TV, okay? She just got a thumb sign. Understood, it's okay. I'm gonna guess it's over here. No. I'm gonna guess it's in here. Tell me what happens. Oh, thank you. Whenever we put the heat here, it builds up carbon monoxide and the sensor goes off. So, do you have a when way you, of... When you put the heat on where? In the basement. If you put the heat on the basement, the carbon monoxide that goes off? Uh, the, yeah, it builds up the carbon monoxide level. I have a detector where it shows okay. the level. And so right now the heat is off. So well, the heat is on. I just put it on a second ago. I, I, he was supposed to put it on and he didn't. I think he just fell. Oh, it's he counting just, down. Okay. <clears throat> How old is this unit? It's, everything's pretty new. Now, five years old? Okay. Nah, sure. Mike is here. Yes. Hi. Hey, nah. How are you? Yeah, Mike, good morning. How are you? Good morning. Okay, you can hold What's on. wrong? I don't know where it's coming from where. And uh, basically that's it. I just need to be possible. You need to figure out where the carbon ice is coming from. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. We cleaned the chimney. And I don't know. I mean, the, also the possible, the outside pipe, they have two pipes outside that go in and come in. Yeah, they're too close to one another. 
where it's too close is possible maybe just to make a shoulder or is there something problem with the system that's my main concern if you could do the shoulder it'd be great well i, I can't i can't i can't do that today but um we we could uh we could we could make some uh, changes to the exhaust piping that we could do. Yeah. Well, let's let's just, let's determine what's going on with this boiler first and uh, yes. take it from there. Yeah. No problem. You okay. Think, you, All what right. What you have to do, I mean, and also, if you, if you want to drain the water to clean the system, whatever. Needs I, that's not something I want to take on as an emergency service call on oh, a yes, Sunday. No problem. No if problem. you want to schedule, like, you know, when's the last time this thing was had ma a, uh, annual service done to it, the boiler? Never. 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 Okay. So let's take a look at that, and we'll figure it out. We'll get some equipment from the truck, and we'll determine the cause. Yeah. All right, yeah. thank you. But the, my main, my main concern yes. is the carpet. Understood, the mine as well. Gotcha, mine. You thank got you. it. Thank you. I guess, but then we had prob uh, We had to clean the chimney. Okay. Because the chimney was really bad. But this time, the chimney nice and clean. We got shocked. Why all of a sudden, a year later? So you have, you have like the ones in the ceiling that, that went off? Right. The one that okay. And the machine tells us that's a carbon monoxide. Yes. It wasn't anything else. Does anyone in the house have any like flu-like symptoms or headaches? I had that time, that moment. Because right now, again, I don't want to uh, 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 startle you, but even up here, it's fine. It's well, it's not really. It's not really anything. It's seven. Oh, it's nothing. It's nothing, but it should be nothing. So. But, uh, it gets to the level of twenty something. Right now, it just did over there. Yeah, it's hot. See, it shows here 19. For yeah, because you're right up, you may be right above the boiler. Let's see. No, it's actually, it's only eight. Seven. Downstairs. This is a lot more uh, uh, accurate and sensitive. But I have more equipment that I brought in downstairs that I just want to see. Let's see. So you think when you turn the heat on in the basement. Yeah, that's what happened that day. Ten. window is open. The window is open. It's supposed to be open, no? No, the window is open. And they told us to leave the window open. Window is always open? The last window is we, open. We didn't have it open last time. They told us it That's why, and the exhaust is right there. Let's see? Ten. Let's go back outside. My God, the window's been open. I just showed us it's good. There's nothing outside, see? There's your exhaust. There's the window. <clears throat> the window is open. It's possibly coming back in and recirculating back in. Oh. All right, so it's on right now. What size is this? This is a 230. There's the silencer. Which basically was just hanging on by a thread. Okay, get that silence back on there. The bottom of the heat exchanger is intact for now. Yeah, I can. zero here by the window but i can feel a nice good draft coming in here let's close this window okay keep it over here i want to test the draft on the water here let's crank that up a little bit big 75 gallon water heater for some reason this is not the diverter i don't think this is the diverter for this a.o smith i really don't think this is the proper diverter 
No. Let's see. Well, that was there probably at one point. We have good draft here though, but. Turned off this thing. I'm gonna have to get my Testo on. I don't know if this is a diverter for this. A.O. Smith PCG75. There's no way. Well, I stand corrected. There it is. That's a diverter on the PCG75. On a picture. Hmm. I wouldn't think it'd be much bigger than that, but let's get our Testo on. Wow. Testing the draft. I'm sorry, testing the combustion gases on the, the water heater. Well, we know that's not the blame. She's burning perfectly. Perfect combustion. Look at that. Absolute perfect combustion. Crazy. And I, yes, I know it's got it should be somewhere in the middle, halfway there, but we have perfect combustion right there. So I'm not worried about the water heater causing this. <clears throat> I still got nine showing in here. And uh, let's raise up the some of the zones. Bingo. There it is. See it? It's hard to see in this picture. You can see. You can see the the uh, the exhaust gases recirculating back into this machine. There it is, right there. See that? Sucking right back in. Let's get that right there. There's the probe. Fresh air intake. Sucking in, yep, there it is. Sucking in its own gases. Right there. Huh. All right, well, there it is. Sucking in its own gases, because it's done, it's stalled wrong. I right, have cross, cross contamination. Here's your exhaust, which is on top of the fresh air intake. And you saw it in the video. The Centrotherm, 3-inch, discharging out here and being brought right back in. And we saw that in the video with the foam and there's that window. I was starting to think that was the culprit, but I kind of saw that right away, though. We're way too close to one another. Um, if you, some manufacturers like the South Koreans who manufacture an avian, they want to have uh, 12 inches of horizontal and vertical separation, but, you know. Here, we don't have that. This is an American Whale McLean, so. If they use the concentric vent kit, you know, the exhaust gas would be coming out the front and the sides would be the um, fresh air. But even then, you know, perfect conditions, you're gonna get recirculation. I think the best way of handling, resolving this is if we move the fresh air intake and bring that over, maybe over there, um, we could probably get away with using a, uh, probably get away with using a, um, uh, maybe a, like a 90, shoot, switching across, um, securing that to the foundation wall, and at least you won't have the cross contamination there anymore. Uh, let's see if I have a, uh, a pipe in the truck to connect right. this up. We gotta redo all this. Temporarily, I put, took a piece of three inch, Right here, put a three inch PVC 90, threw that on there, took the knockout out, the screen out, put the screen in there. Uh, it's actually not gonna fit in there. Um, keeping it real, that's, uh, that's four inch <laughs> coming in through there. So the three inch just slid into the four inch. I think we're good, but I just wanna see if this helps and uh, prevents cross contamination which sure does look like it's going to. All right, the unit is now running. Oh, now it's off. Oh, gee, damn, it was running. <laughs> it made a fool of me. All right, take two. All right. What's that? I live in five towns. Yeah. Okay. Take a look at those two by threes. Wow, it's awesome. Hold up the piping, supply and return piping. 
Those guys at Barry Tech won't even be this creative. <laughs> I think I'm gonna start using two by threes just like this to hold up my piping. Wow, it's a lot more time involved than threaded rod and a clevis hanger. <laughs> All right, we're good there. All right, I wanted to see what was going on with this chimney. See if it was legit and sure enough. Look at that. They just slammed it in there. It doesn't work. No stainless steel chimney lining. Broken 90 that they used tape to put it back together with. All right. I didn't have a smoke 90 in a truck. Just retaped that. Now we're showing zero. That's on. What a heater set. And we have zero. Windows closed. What is your device showing? Anything? Yes, it was showing like uh, under 10. Yeah, well now it's zero. Good. Yeah, that's cause it's not. Slightly, slightly back pitched. So was there for just about a little over an hour and 15 minutes. Only charged it for an hour. Um, but uh, I made the temporary uh, separation outside. Again, stressing the word temporary. I brought the, uh, the wife, the woman of the house outside. I showed her what we did. And I, again, stressing the fact that it's temporary. I also made note of that on the service pal invoice. Um, that again, my full diagnosis and what I did and that they need to call back. Here are the, here's the prices, you know, estimated prices to permanently, you know, fix that, uh, that four inch and also do maintenance on the, the boiler. So for about 20 minutes, cause I wanted to really make sure that the occupants of the house, you know, that's our job. Our job is to protect the health and the safety of the people who trust us with their, uh, their property and also their lives. So I spent, the, I spent about 20 minutes there waiting with the boiler running at high fire, all the zones on, the water heater running. Uh, I wanted to make sure that my carbon monoxide levels uh, did not go above zero and it didn't. So I'm quite confident once the basement was aired out and we separated the exhaust gases outside that it went away. All right, guys, I really appreciate the, the the amazing and overwhelming support from the community. Um, we're at 71,500 subscribers to the channel. It's really incredible. Um, the goal is 100,000 subscribers by May 1st, 2023. And that's less than uh, you know six months away. I think we could do it, guys. I really think we could do it. I'm gonna try to deliver more great content. I'm gonna try to, you know, try to just leave politics out of it going to try to just show what I do, you know, with the interaction as well while I'm driving to the, sh while I'm driving to the job, but I really want to, uh, do my part in making the trades great again. Thank you so much for watching until next time. Be well, God bless. Stay safe.